Today we are going to discuss how to upload a CSV file into this plank. So for that we have to just select the add data and have, as we are uploading the file and we are not monitoring any logs or we are not firing any data to the another Splunk device. So just we are selecting the upload because we are uploading the file. It is generated, uh, I have downloaded uh, some CSV files from the Chrome browser. So we have to select that. So these are the CSV files which I have downloaded from the browser. So let us uh, upload this one, this file. As you can see, it is already uploaded. Just uh, because it is having very, uh, it is having very small size. So that's how it uploaded very fast. So just click next. And I'm not changing any settings configuration in this uh, page. And the source type is uh, by default we selected CSV and it is correct. So this is the data which is uploaded which is uh, which got from that CSV file what I have selected. So just click next. Host is the machine name from which the data we got. So the uh, we have to actually give the uh, name of the machine from which we got this data. So actually now I have downloaded this uh, from the chrome browser so i am giving this file name as csv2 and we have to select a, create a new index for this basically uh, the uploaded file will be stored in this index so index name i am giving giving as csv index2 so let us create it and let me so these are the settings what I have selected as a host name as CV, CSV2 and uh, index as CSV index2. Basically, CSV full form is comma separated values, means a file where the fields should be separated by the comma. Okay, let us submit this. Actually, this process uh, is a little bit faster in my system because I have selected very uh, less amount of size of the uh, less amount size file. So these are the fields uh, which are provided by the uh, Splunk after uploading this file. So Splunk basically provide easy way to access the data, analyze the data, correlate the data. So these are the fields by this we can search the data or okay, we can correlate the data. So let us see the fields. Okay, This event is having this many fields and this is the values for those fields. So now we have uploaded a just single file. So let us imagine when we are uploading a large number of uh, many number of files and uh, sometimes we upload entire directory. So in such case we have to go to settings and have to click on data inputs and then we have to select these files and directories. By this we can upload more than one file or we can enter uh, upload entire directory. So now I'm not going to do anything. So this is how the uh, to upload a CSV file in this Splunk and uh, in next video we are going to see how to analyze this uh, data and how to uh, find the required data by using different types of searches. Thank you guys.